through verse 18. Lord gave me this scripture and I pray that it blesses you. I keep telling you, you need to read the word because the word of God, there is nothing in your life that you will find in the word. Amen. Whatever you're dealing with, it's in the word. Amen. And if you can't find it in the Bible, that's why the Lord gave us Google. Amen. Amen. So, Lord, Google, where to find in the Bible? That's right. It'll give you a ton of scriptures. Amen. Thank the Lord for Google. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Nehemiah chapter 2, verses 11 through 18. Are we there? Yes. Let us read together. I went to Jerusalem and after staying there three days, let us read. I'm reading now. In the King James, it says, So I came to Jerusalem. All right, let me and I, I, read. I was reading not to NIV, but let me shift over to King James. <laughs> For these biblical right. scholars. <laughs> you, know, so you have to, I mean, for some folks, you have to dumb it down the world. All right, get right. your new translation. <laughs> yeah. English, you know, Bible for dummies. Yeah. Amen. No, that's the one I read out of, but that's all right. Or the King James Version for the astute people. Praise <laughs> Amen. Amen. Here's what King James had to say. Verse 11. So I came to Jerusalem and was there three days. And I rose in the night. And I am. Neither was there any beast with me, save the beast that I rode upon. And I went out by night by the gate of the valley. Even before the dragon well, and to the dump port, and viewed the walls of Jerusalem, which were broken down, and the gates thereof were consumed with fire. Then I went to the gate of the fountain, and the king's pool, but there was no place for the beast that was underneath to pass. Then when I went up to the night by the brook, and viewed the wall, and turned back, and entered by the gate of the valley, and so returned. And the rulers knew not whether I went or what I did, neither had I yet told it to the Jews, nor to the priests, nor to the nobles, nor to the rulers, nor to the rest that did the work. Then said I unto them, Ye see the distress that we are in, how Jerusalem lies waste, and the gates thereof are burned with fire. Come, and let us build up the walls of Jerusalem, that we may be no more to reproach. Then I told them of the hand of God, which was good upon me, and I saw the king heard that he had spoken unto me. And they said, Let us rise up and build. So they strengthened their hands for the good work. NIV reads a little different. King James says, the hand of the Lord which was good upon me. Mm. I like that right there. Amen. I like that right there. Yes. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Amen. I went to Jerusalem. Now what? Listen how the text and what Nehemiah is doing. I went to Jerusalem and after staying there three days, I set out during the night with a few others. I had not told anyone what my God had put in my heart to do for Jerusalem. There was no mounts with me except the one that I was riding on. Ain't nobody had a, a donkey or a horse with me. By night, I went through the valley gate towards the jackal well and the dung gate. Examining the walls of Jerusalem, which had been broken down, and its gates, which had been destroyed by fire. Then I moved towards the fountain gate and the king's pool, but there was not enough room for my mount, my horse, my donkey, whatever his own camel, to get through. So I went up the valley by night, examining the wall. Finally, I turned back and re-entered through the valley gate. Why didn't he go back through the valley gate? Because that's the gate he came in. Uh -huh. 
That's the only place he can get through with him and his horse. He wasn't coming down off that horse. If he had, if he had other folk with him, but he the only one had a horse. I mean, listen. Amen. The official did not know where he had gone or what was he was doing, what I was doing, because as yet I had not said anything to the Jews or to the priests or the nobles or the officials or to any others who would be doing the work. Then I said to them, you see the trouble we're in? Jerusalem lies in ruins, and its gates have been burned with fire. Come let us rebuild the walls of Jerusalem, and we will go no longer... We will no longer be in disgrace. That's mm -hmm. NIV. Mm -hmm. I also told them about the gracious hand of God that was upon me and what the king had said to me. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 <clears throat> I want to use for this month, I want to talk about. Finish what you start. Finish what you start. I wish you'd look at your neighbor without fear, without reservation or apprehension, or without hesitation and tell him, finish what you started. Finish what you started. Amen. Finish what you started. Finish what you started. I'm afraid there are too many people they have not finished what they start. Amen. Wow. Mm, Jesus. Help us. Amen. We live in a crippling society where we blame everybody else for our lack of success. Uh -huh. We blame the white folk yeah. for shooting up black folk. Uh -huh. Yes, black lives matter. But we don't sing it to ourselves. We Come sing on. it to the white folk. Y'all yes. right. talk to me. Yeah. If black lives really matter, where's the black lives matter movement when black folk are killing black folk? Y'all yeah. are hearing me. Yeah. It seems as though Chicago has taken on this badge as though it is some some label of honor or distinction to be considered as the murder capital of the world. Amen. Like killing is what we do. Mm -hmm. Who wants that to be your, your handle, your no. title, no. your definition, your description? No. Amen. Murder and mayhem. Y'all hear me? Amen. But we want to holler black lives. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. How can you finish what you started? Mm -hmm. How can you finish what you started if you never start? Uh -huh. yeah. Many times we want other folk to start for us. I can't tell you how many times folk come to me with a good idea. Apostle, I got a good idea. And I'm listening to your good idea, and they're excited about it until I tell them that I think that's fantastic. <laughs> when you going to start it? No, no, I wasn't talking about me. I'm talking about you. What, did I have a sign on my head that says, give me some more work to do? Amen. I, I'm confused with folk bring me ideas for me to do. You don't even want to be included in the idea. Are y'all hearing me? Yeah. And most times, those are people that you can't count on in any way. Uh -huh. Are y'all with me? Amen. Tell your neighbor, you got to finish what you started. You got to finish what you started. I'm not even going to try to label the situations that we have been in and we haven't finished what we started. Amen. 
Some of us started on our credit and did it, Jack. <laughs> I said I got my lady, didn't we? Some of us started looking for a child and we didn't finish. Some of us started looking for a husband and we quit. Some of us started coming to church every Sunday and we didn't finish. Some of us started tithing, but we didn't finish. Are y'all hearing me? I said I wasn't going to go down the list, didn't I? <laughs> Y'all not hearing me? Let me ask you a question. Let me move on. What have you started lately? That's the question you can mull over in your mind. What have you started lately? And if you can't think of anything off the top of your head, that means you ain't been doing nothing. You ought to have a few things on your list. Even if you haven't started it yet, you ought to have some things on your list of, of things to do. Amen. Not for things for other people to do. <laughs> Not a list of excuses. Amen. But a list of things to do. Amen. They ought to be prioritized by what's most important not by what you want to do. You'd be surprised at the people that have find the energy to do what they want to do, but don't find the, 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 the energy to do what they got to do. Uh, I'm going to say that again. A wise man told me one time, if you do what you got to do, then you can do what you want to do. That's right. But we chase what we want to do, but won't, won't commit to the things we have to do. Come on now. Yes, well, maybe I'm, maybe I'm still I'm missing you. Maybe I'm missing you. Let me help you with that. What do you mean, Apostle? This is what I mean. You want to have a get together at your house, <laughs> but you don't want to clean up. <laughs> Don't let that soak in for me. <laughs> you want a brand new car. But you got used car money. Y'all not hear me. Come on, come on, get down the street. <laughs> if you really. What you need to be doing is at the used car lot. And stop wasting this man's time in the showroom floor. Because you ain't got money or credit. You just, you just a uh, 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 window shop. You can't buy nothing on the carpet. Uh, Y'all do know it's carpet on the floor. Most times. Oh, I'm sorry. In the, in, the, in the big dealership, the other guy got tired. <laughs> What have you started lately? Mama. Have you started a diet? Mama. How long did that last? Easy, easy. <laughs> we fast every day. How far do you get in your fast before you quit? I do it. I started to shovel the snow in my driveway, but then I changed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the snow coming. Let me help you. Oh, the yeah. snow is coming. And somebody's going to say, well, Pastor, it was just so cold this morning. What you should have been doing, you're supposed to be at church, but you're making this, but you wanted to stay home. I'm talking about the needs versus the want. Yeah. The got to versus the want to. Okay. Amen. you all heard what I'm saying. Amen. Don't trade your got-tos for your want-tos. Oh, yeah. okay. Because your got-tos will remind you that you can't keep what you want. That's right. You can't get what you want because you didn't do what you got to do. That's right. Amen. Amen. Amen? If I want to upgrade from an apartment to a townhome, I got to make some more money. That's yeah. right. Amen. 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 And if it takes me getting an education or doing some other stuff, I got to do what I got to do to get to the next level. And it don't come overnight. Life is kind of like the credit, y'all. Mm -hmm. yes, I'm going to say that. I'm going to move on on my neck. 
today. So let's all talk about what we started later. Uh -huh. Life is like your credit. In case y'all don't know, you can tear it up overnight. Sure can. Sure can. It'll take you three years to rebuild it. I'm going to say that again. Amen. You can tear it up overnight. Amen. It'll take you three years to rebuild it. Yeah. I hope y'all ain't treating your life like you're treating your credit. Because if you're treating your life the way you're treating your credit, only Jesus can help you. <laughs> I thought I thought that in it. Yeah. I can't. I'm sorry. I can't help you. Church can't help you. Only Jesus can help you. Just look at your credit. Oh, let me help you. Oh, that's, that ain't true. Your credit is a reflection of your life. Yeah. That's true. That's yes, true. it is. It is. Your discipline. Yeah. Your responsibility. <laughs> Everybody mess up every now and then. Sometimes life happens and yeah. it wasn't your fault to you, but it wasn't my fault. Wasn't my fault. See, I gave you excuses today. Oh my God. I, I gave you one. Gave one. <laughs> but the rest is. Your fault. Yeah. At what point are you going to take control of your life? Because when you can take control of your life, you take control of your credit. Yes. You take control of your family. Yes. You take control of your finances. Yes. What have you started lately? Mm -hmm. And when you finally get control of your credit, you don't let nobody know you got none. Oh, <laughs> yeah. The person sitting right next to you got an 800 credit score. They act like, oh, I'm bad at making it. <laughs> Every time they call, they know you want something, they go, before you get your word in, they get there to you. Girl, I got all these bills. I don't know. You call it asking for some money, but they beat you to the punch. How are you doing? I ain't doing good. Bills, 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 bills. bills, bills. <laughs> they know every bill you got you made. Yes, yeah. I'm confused on how folks dig it. How do people complain about their bills, but you ain't got it? That's right. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Oh, Lord, I came on the wrong side. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord got you right where you're supposed to be. Amen. Amen. What that got to do with Nehemiah? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to bring you right in. Bring Finish what you started. So why y'all still contemplating on what y'all started lately? Yeah. Amen. By now, y'all probably realize you ain't finished much. Amen. Amen. I want to look at verse 11. I'm, verse 11. Somebody say, settle yourself. Settle yourself. Well, how was that? Let me look at verse 11. I love to teach you in the scriptures. I love to lay right in here because it helps. I keep telling you, if you come to church and you take notes, even if you can't write that fast, if you go home and get on YouTube or Facebook, yes, you all, please, or yours on Facebook, go to YouTube. Look at our, our, our channel, like it, and subscribe, share, do all that. Do some evangelistic work. Amen. Share the word of God. If you're sitting at home, and you're not in church, share the word of God Amen. with somebody Amen. through social media. Amen. 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 Ought to see 500 shares when I look at our media. Amen. Amen. Are y'all with me? Amen. Verse 11, Nehemiah says, I went to Jerusalem after staying there three days. Settle yourself. That's the first thing I want to deal with. In verse 11, settle yourself. Sometimes you need to stick around uh -huh. Amen. before you can understand what's going on. Uh, that's true. Amen. You can't just do a drive-by and have great revelation. <laughs> you can't just come by the church every now and then and think you're going to get delivered of the things that's inside of you. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's the word of God that drives out the demonic spirits 
and the forces. You'd be surprised if God looked at us. Most of us would look like that girl on 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 uh uh uh, uh, uh careful. careful on the exorcist. All right, all right. Oh yeah, all kind of demons inside of us. Jesus. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I do. <laughs> you got a negative attitude, baby. Yes. Mm. Come on, come on. An unforgiving demon. Yes. Oh, no. A spirit is a demon. Yes. Yes. Unforgiving demon. Yes. A grudge demon. Yes. A disobedient demon. Yes. A gossip demon. Yes. Bad habit demon. Yes. Whatever them habits are. Mm -hmm. A cussing thing. Yeah. 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 See, I hit you then. Yeah. <laughs> How you been in church 30 years and you still ain't got over your cussing thing? <laughs> Lord, you know my heart, baby. You do. Oh, my <laughs> the only way I'm going to grow in God, I have to settle myself. Nehemiah was in Jerusalem for three days. He stayed there because he realized he needed to do something. You cannot grow in God when you treat God like a, 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 like it's a gas station. God only needs you when I need to fill up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And most times we only go, we so cheap, all I need is five hours on the plane. <laughs> Lord said, I bless you enough to fill you up. My word. You may need that for something. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. That's good. Give me $8 on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> <Good boy. laughs> but you know you got to drive 45 miles, so you'd rather keep stopping than put $8 in than get a fill up and get more miles to the gap. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I'm talking to somebody. Yes. That's how they do church. Yes. Hey, man, where you been? Yes. Oh, you know, I've been at home. You know, it's scary out of this COVID. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Yeah. yeah that's that's true. true. <laughs> right. Are you going to there? Then I just see you. <laughs> That Walmart. Yes. Yes. Come on, Pastor T. Yes. Amen. I saw you last Sunday eating at the restaurant. You didn't have no mask on. You wasn't eating doing this. Laughing and joking. With a party at night. There you go. Yeah. You got this air right there. Yeah, you're right. You gotta sell yourself. Amen. How do you expect to grow if you don't hear? Yes. Amen. You gotta hear. Yes. Amen. You gotta let the word marinate yes. and sink into your heart. Yes, you gotta Lord. pay attention. You can't come here and laughing and joking and talking and nudging and on the phone and texting and on Facebook. You got to hear. The word of the Lord. Amen. And you can't look at me, but your mind is on the other side of time. I think you have a song, something close to that. Your body hit with me, but your mind is on the other Oh my God. I'm weak. That's how we are in church. To be able to settle yourself. Because you can't have your body here and your mind. That's right. Is somewhere else. Amen. You already think about where you gonna go eat. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> <She's so silly. laughs> Nehemiah had to settle himself. He stayed for three days. Mm -hmm. I can't get folk to stay for thirty minutes. Preacher, <laughs> preacher, lose focus. Uh huh. I keep telling you. The voice of God in the earth yes. is your pastor. Amen. You will hear my voice much more often than you will hear God's voice. And if you believe or you know in your heart that your pastor
pastor has been anointed to speak the word of God, that is God's voice to you. So if God is talking now, why would you not listen? Amen. Many of us give more respect to the judge in court. Yes. Why? Because we think the judge can do something to us. Do you not know God can do something to you? Amen. Watch this. The fact that he keeps blessing me when I don't deserve it. Yes. That's why I need to say amen. Shout hallelujah. Yes. I mean for real. Now, it ain't just my cue to say hallelujah. I'm going to say it when it ain't any, any time I get a chance. Somebody yes, said, Lord. when I think of the goodness of Jesus, Jesus. I'm going to wait for something to happen in church. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, There's yes. police around my house the other day. They had dogs out and flashlights and police everywhere. Looking, heaven did this. Looking for somebody. Amen. Amen. My wife was on her way to the hospital. She said, uh, you need to lock the doors. They, they, they look at somebody out there. I said, I wish somebody would come up here. <laughs> they better hope Jesus catch them before I do. <laughs> Y'all not hearing me? Yeah. Y'all not hearing me? I'm talking about good God here. I'm talking to Joel, my brother, the other, uh, the other day. He's telling me how somebody came in his house on him. Yeah. Came in there on it. I said, Do I need to get an attorney, man? I said, No, I didn't shoot him. But, you know, I did let one off. I let him know he ain't going to come back. I said, That's good. Let him know, don't you come in the house. And two on the way. I'm trying to say, God is good. Yeah. Yes, you can yes, wake up yes. with somebody coming in. Jesus. Yes. It don't mean you no good. What you know? I, I, I'm looking for some water. That's what they say. Bro, man. That's the best excuse you can come up with. You in my house. I'm business and I'm drunk. And I, this is not this. Is not. Right, right, right. I'm looking for some water. That's the best you can come up with. You're welcome. Okay. What is I'm trying happening? to say you ought to give God praise because you don't know what can happen to you. That's yes. true. You That's don't so understand true. how God keeps us from seeing and unseen. Yes. 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 That's why I settle myself even in my prayer life, in my meditation. When I talk to God, I don't let other things distract me. And if I find my mind creeping off, I pull it back. Yes. yes. Leave me alone, devil. I ain't finished. Yes, talking. yes, yes. yes. I want to settle myself because yeah. it's something I'm trying to learn. What is it? I want to finish what I started. Yeah. I started praying. I'm trying to finish praying. And you keep getting in my head. Listen, just because you pray and anointed don't mean your mind stop thinking. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. I think people think because I may be laying hands on people or praying a prophesy and they think I'm not paying no attention. Hmm. I see everything all the time. Yeah. yeah. Yes, I just don't acknowledge it. Uh -huh. yes, and I don't let that cause me not be focused Amen. on my, what I'm doing. But I see you. Amen. 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 Yeah, I see you. Amen. But you got to finish what you start. Amen. You got to sell yourself. Amen. So you can be situated to understand what it is you have to do. Yes. You got to count up the cost. Most of us start things and don't, we don't take an account of who we are. Mm -hmm. I ain't talking about nobody, but the reason why most of us can't complete a fast, because most of us look at a fast like a diet. Yeah. That, that's true. I can't that's do true. this, I can't do that, I can't do that, I can't do that. But what you can do that you can't do in a diet, that I can dine with the Lord, I can sup with him, I can talk to him, I can be at his feet, I can sit in his lap, I can hug him around his neck, I can spend time with him, talk about the positive. I get tired of people telling me what they can't do. When I say, can you do this? You're going to give me 12 reasons why you can't. Can you give me two reasons why you can? Yeah. Yeah. 